Welcome back to the cafe. Auckland audiences will be spoilt for choice as they pick and mix a fabulous free array of workshops and performances this winter. Now, one of the star acts is award winning comedian, magician Jared Fowl, who joins us right now um, for the interview Ooh. part because you've been hanging out with us all morning. We have. Great. Yeah, been oh, hanging. Sorry. Thank nice. you. Um, okay, I'm going to start with the most obvious question How did you get into being a comedian magician? I was lonely. <laughs> um, it was, uh, I saw a magician when I was 11 and that's where I went and bought magic boxes and tricks and started practicing and but then found comedy when I was about 17. Who, who inspired yeah. you actually? Uh, Tommy Cooper, which okay. a lot of people don't know. Uh, exactly. Uh, he's, a, he's a comedian magician that never did a trick. Right. He always failed. And it was, really? It was the funniest thing to watch. And yeah. that was his thing? That was his thing. Did you have one of those, those, um, those boxes with the long black magician stick? What are they called? Wand? A wand? Yes. <laughs> Wow. What is it called? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's totally okay. We, we, we understand your hair colour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I did. I did have a wand, but I don't use a wand anymore. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I grew up. Um, so, okay. So, magic, magic is your life, and you've combined it with comedy, which has taken you around the world, which has been quite yeah. fun. You had a very successful career. Mm. Um, before we talk more about that, what is this pick and mix thing all about? Uh, pick and mix is uh, this amazing thing that Auckland Live does, and I've done it. I think about five years now where it's uh, free entertainment for families. Cool. And uh, it's great, uh, and it's always packed. It's, uh, we started in small little you know, theatres in the AOT, and now we're doing the Bruce Mason and bigger rooms in the AOT Centre, so people are coming back every year. And it's just fun. I, I do a show, Comedy Magic, and um, if they want to stick around, they can learn something. We do a free workshop straight after. So you've so, got little kids, so you're teaching the kids how to do the magic tricks? Yes, yeah, and how to prank the parents. That's oh. my favourite thing to do, is, yeah. is freak, get the parents <laughs> freaked out. Yeah. And, and do you think magic has changed with, you know, I guess the internet now and, and YouTube? Because well, I want to know, actually, Jared, is there a secret code with magicians? Because you'd think nowadays we'd all know how David <laughs> Copperfield made, you know, that mm. big plane disappear. We think yeah. we'd know all the secrets to magicians, mm. but we don't still. No, um, which is a surprise because of YouTube. Yeah. Um, anything I've done, I've had people comment on my YouTube channel and expose it because they can actually just type in how to do a trick on YouTube. Now. Right. Um, That's hardly any fun, though, is it? Why do people no. do that? I think people aren't doing it because they like that. that the elements. magic of magic. Yeah, they like not knowing. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry. Watching <laughs> yourself do tricks. Though. Yeah. So you so you've been around the world. Where have you found your magic has been most well received? Like, where have you just gone? Wow, this is such an exciting buzz. Definitely Hamilton. Yeah, how much no, is it for you? No, um, <laughs> no. Um, I, I performed in Las Vegas, and and Las Vegas is Something. any magician's dream to yeah. perform there. Um, and there's so much entertainment. I love Las Vegas, but Asia, Asia, they love magic, and uh, so I go there three times a year if I can. Really? Yeah. If I was a little kid and I was coming along to pick a mix, could mm -hmm. you spot who's going to be a potential good magician? Is there a certain skill base that you need to have to be? Because obviously you've got to be good with your hands. Yeah. Um, any kids that come up and chuck 50 bucks in my hand, <laughs> um, I can guarantee you, you one day good. make it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's a personality. And uh, yeah. I, I always say in the workshops is uh, get out and do theatre. You know, uh, I was on stage from the age of seven doing children's musical theatre. And uh, that's probably where my personality comes from. I've right. been on stage at an early age. Yeah. Musical theatre, you two have so much in common because Mike would love to do musical theatre. Mm, I'm good with my hands I'll too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, moving right along, I would just like to say, you, like a few years ago, you, um, you opened for Steve O from Jackass Fame. Yeah. I mean, what mm. was that like? What was he like? Um, obviously, the stuff I was doing with Steve O, I won't be doing for the families. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Um, good, uh, good. Yeah, he was, he's crazy, you know, he's, he's just one of those jackass characters and that's just them. Where, so the, where would you like to see yourself going? Like where do you want to be? A home. I, I hate it all morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've given you coffee and <laughs> stuff. Yeah, too way. much too. Yeah, like, I'm <laughs> fed soon. Um, and I saw on your Facebook page that you're filming a TV show. Is that what's going on at the moment? Are they YouTube shows or what's going on there? Uh, we're filming so much, but, uh, but everything. Can't say? Can't okay. say. Can't okay. say too much. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it's magic. It'll just appear somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a XXX site. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, right, okay, sweet. I don't think we're allowed to talk about those sites, are we? <laughs> um, okay. okay, so pick a mix. That's on very soon. Yep. You're part of that. That's awesome. Lots on the board. Where can people go and see you next apart from Pick and Mix? Um, well, I mainly do adult, right. adult comedy. Um, okay. And so if you check out my website, jonafowl.com, or Facebook, or Instagram. Nice. Um, kids don't go in there. Um, but kids, uh, I do these one-off family shows um, because I, I, I started out doing kids stuff. So, and so this is my way of going back. So come and check
check out the family shows. Nice yeah, work. It's going to be Fantastic. Fun. Great to have you with us. Hey, thanks. Stick for around, me. have some jerk chicken. Hang on a second, there's something stuck. Can I... <laughs> oh, no, can we... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, okay, so oh, just a watermelon. Oh, oh. Sorry. oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I've been up there all morning, <laughs> so... <laughs> I was going to say something, but you know. <laughs> no one, no one wonder you're shaking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel a lot better now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jared. That must feel better. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure that you catch some of the Pick and Mix season. It'll be around Auckland until September the 4th.